What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? It's your girl, Mickey Boo, and you are on How Is Life Behind Your Lens. We got a special guest today. We got King Dub in the building. Sally Mae. What's good? How you doing, gangster? Give me a list of the things that you do. Just give a generic list. Uh, audio engineer. Um, I can do photography. I do the editing. I do videography. I do the editing. Um, super dad. I'm a girl dad. You know what I'm saying? Oh, um, nah. Oh, super dad. Super dad, yeah. That's good. I'm um, glad you mentioned that. Yeah, um, that's that's... That's what keeps me going at this point. Is like, your family? I mean, all of y'all, because you're part. You know, you're part. You're part of my my little crew of beloveds. You know what I'm saying? Like the one. Oh God! You know, people <laughs> always touch back bases. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, like cause good people got it. Like for me personally, that's that's what I really want. Like I I want good people around me. I want loyalty, honesty, and respect. Everything else is gonna come if you have those three as a basis. Which you know, growth is exponential until you die. Of course. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. But ultimately. There are plateaus where where you can take a deep breath and rest, and mm -hmm. just for a second get that that Sunday morning feel. That mm -hmm. all right, I've done this. Monday's tomorrow. Boom. And when you get to them plateaus, it looks like this. Yeah, you know what I'm saying for sure. You said you have a family. Okay, and so you're married, correct? Indeed. Okay, I have a question. What is your perspective on marriages? Is it important to you? Is it a label to you? Like, what does it do for you? And what do you think it do for the other person? Honestly, like, you know, they say I think it's every 10 years, a person needs and, and mindset and psyche changes, it evolves. It requires new things or different things. Even if it's a variation of the original, it's still something new required. That is pretty much the personification of what marriage is. It's having cause that the thought process evolved for me. Like when I was a kid, I don't know, I don't know why. I just wanted, I just wanted to be a husband and a dad, and you know what I'm saying, the superhero shit, like all mm -hmm. kind of, you know what I'm saying, like yeah. have my family secured and then throw a cape on by night, whatever throw a cape on may apply to. It's applicable to whatever, like. Going to work, uh, 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 chasing your dream, you know what I'm saying? Helping someone else's dream, being a, a real superhero or, you know, whatever you really want to be. Just having family, your family to support and to support you. Those were like the ramblings of a child. But then when you get older, it's, it becomes more like Bonnie and Clyde 03, if it, if it makes sense. So like, do you think marriage is a business, or can be? Now it is. Like I think, I think originally, like that was probably when you think about it, that was probably the core mindset of of whatever. I think it was from beginning of time because you know? the man was the money maker, right? Which made him superior of the household, and what he wanted, when, what he wanted from the wife. Mm -hmm was things that he couldn't do for himself. Because he could he do was it. Secure and other things. Right. So she would cook, clean, and do whatever it is he need of her right. to keep him going, right? Right. Which is okay. Which could be seen as slavery or could be seen as a quick um, pro quo, more so. uh, help and help. You yeah. know what I'm saying? It, I, I mean he if he providing her something. with a roof, why wouldn't she provide him with the things he needs to right. keep him going and keep the roof? So I get and it. It used to be a trophy to be married, like like it right? used to be like now it's just like uh, like it still has that that feel, you know what I'm saying? Nowadays, women are more independent when it comes to chasing their own bag, getting their own money, sure. being fully invested in their career, mm -hmm. um, and so the tables have turned, which is also weird because a lot of men are coming out as homosexuals. And I say that to say the women looks as though we grew in strength and men grew in weakness. And, and femininity. And so it's it, the the roles have switched to where the man wants to be taken care of now. And the woman is, I believe that the woman, because myself, I'm independent. I have to take care of the things in my life on my own. So I feel like we... 
it's not that we don't want to be taken care of. It's about having our own because usually when marriages or relationships split and it don't turn out to what you want it to be, the woman finds herself, whatever it is that she kept, you still have to start over and recreate an income because it's that rainy day that happens. You know what I'm saying? And so for the man, he will proceed with his life. So women are just trying to secure their own, you know, foundation in case anything like that happens, which I do believe it should be equal. Absolutely. Um, but there is still men out there who want to take care of women. Um, I mean, and uh, keep the traditional. That's that's how, going. That's exactly how I am, man. How I want, how I have to, how I want the structure and frame of what I depict moving forward and what I depict as a, as an actual existing male. You know what I'm saying? And then an existing black male on top of that. And I'm raising daughters too, so and like they're right on my heels. You have all girls. I have four girls. Well, I have three girls. Right now, I think the one that she's pregnant with is a boy. Like right who, who's more the bishop, the beneficiary, or the superior of your household? You the at home dad? Yep. Or she, oh, I'm, so I'm she goes dad. out and work. Oh, she she at home and work. So she works from home, yep. but she's the breadwinner. Yeah. Okay, so why don't you work? I do. I, what I, what it is 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 that I do my audio engineering at the house. Okay, so and wait. So own, is this this career that you have invested? This is my own. I get you're my chasing own your dream, and yeah. she wants to make money by working her job. She says she wants to make. She's gonna do that regardless. Like right. even when okay. she when we wasn't when I had all the controls and, and, and power in my hands. Like yeah, you know, I want you to do this. I could I could have suggested anything in the world. And she'd be like, "Okay, cool, but I'm still gonna do this anyway over right. here." Like, because she wants. So y'all have a balanced relationship yeah, where very, she very yin and yang, can make right? decisions, you can make decisions. Yeah, like okay, you think, okay, yeah, okay. Nah, right. I wouldn't. You think I'd be sitting here right now and I ain't got shit going on at home? Like, Ooh, nah, that would be no, very bad. Nah. So you no. have a career chaser, and then you have someone who gets the money working the job, right? Which and, is good because you're because, investing because, in business and making money, right? And because she works, she works from home from. And you know we're we're different. Like we're able to, to multitask, and then we also know how the world works, so we can basically be in two places at once, mm -hmm. by like both of us, like in the mm -hmm. so, so we can cover, we can hit four four birds with one rock. Right, right, you know right. what I'm saying? Because of how we broke the rock in half. Right. Shout out the beans, but because you know we can't. We both came to the table like that, like. The right hand can do this here and like some Leonardo da Vinci. Right, right. Y'all working together. Yeah. So now it's four arms and it's four different tasks, all being you know accomplished and all being, you know, completed. Right. Simultaneously, and right. that's that's how that's how that's supposed to go. And I'm like, so it's not likely to see a family stay together in the black community. What is the foundation of your relationship that keeps you guys so strong and moving forward? Um, honestly, it's it's just like it's pretty much a a golden thread. Like I was saying, like in Hercules, when they tried to cut that thread, and that that, that fucking scissors broke, and the bitch eye popped out, and everything oh got God. lost. Okay. But that thread was still intact, though. And it was still shining. So what? That's what I'm saying. So is that not history that's keeping it's, you guys connected? What is it? It's it's a it's a it's a melting pot of so many different things. It's, so you felt like, like you found color. your person. Yeah, your like, person, like, person. Like, at the end of the day, I I couldn't see me go get anything right now in life, and then be like, man, fuck her. Right. You know what I'm saying? I know, I the know bond is way too strong. You know what I'm it, it's just like I know what you sacrificed. I know. That wow. shit. If I was you, I'd I'd, I'd be them beat my ass up, or we'd have some problems, or uh, you know. Yeah. What I'm Somehow you still standing right there. You know what I'm saying? And I don't know why. And mm -hmm. every other human isn't unplugged yet to to know like what really matters. Everybody doesn't tap in into life and really understand like how close death is around that corner. So they don't really appreciate. I was it. trying to tell you we was in the same space. <laughs> I, I was just smiling more about it, oh. like because it, it's like. And Smiling I wasn't my over. back then. You see, you know, I didn't go first. through what I went through until 2019. Uh, yeah, like you was right. Like like, you was like, I got this, and then I don't know. One day you called well, me. Well, for change. one, it was it was the hope the it was being married. The divorce happened, yeah. so you know, I ventured out on my own, which I've never had my own place. 
And so when I did that, you know, I'm thinking, oh, I got this under control. I knew how to work. I knew how to get the money. I knew how to, you know, pay what needed to be paid. But when I got on my own and when shit hit the fan and I didn't have that backup, that teammate, that or support from a family member, I start spiraling out in fear. Like, am I failing as a mother? Am I failing I as a person? Your voice cracked, Mickey, and I, I felt horrible. Cause I felt I felt the energy coming because it was like you were lying, like, like it was just raging energy. And then it was like lightning struck and cracked the picture, and it was just like, mm. and I heard that shit, and I had to just try to act like you know what I'm saying. I was like, experiencing a lot of weird stuff, like numbers kept popping up. Every time I said something, it was happening, but I was always thinking in a negative mindset. And then when I moved into my place by myself and when, and it was more on me by myself, then is when shit hit the fan to where it was like, you're yeah, either going to wake up in life or you're going to stay on this coast of whatever boundaries you got, whatever conditioned mindset you got, however you're moving and thinking and talking. Right. And so sometimes I think it's okay to go to auto autopilot because it it's like second right, nature. But it has to be the right nature in that second nature though. Right. So basically, for me, autopilot is like if I'm overwhelmed and then I'm still operating, doing what I'm supposed to do, right. regardless of how I feel. Right. So it's more like I know I got to cook and clean at certain times to make sure the kids are taken care of in certain situations. Right. But on the other side of me, I'm boiling and I'm going through it, but I'm allowing myself to not present that because now I know. Right. And so it's basically being the, balanced, the but internalizing. Well, all of the, the different ways and, and steps and each note that you had to, like, it, it just, it can break you. Mm. you. And that's one thing they did not teach us in the household was how to handle mental stress and self-reflection. So when it happened to me, I didn't even know what was happening. I didn't know that going deep down in depression would lead me to a spiral dark path that will they, crack my mind that, that crack you said in that picture yeah. that's what happened and everything in me was broken which i appreciate because i was able to start it over nothing. that's why niggas don't call it anything they, they don't like i, I just saw down there rollers talking about this with theo vaughn niggas just call it oh shit shit fucked up right now no bro what it what is specifically happening to you right now. Right. How do you feel about like, it? What is your thought process behind it? What is the solution? Like, right. niggas will let shit happen and it's, uh, Yeah. Uh. Should women buy men flowers? If they on their Bruno Mars shit, yeah. Next question. <laughs> if there, do you think that there should be a renewal marriage license um, periodically, like maybe every two to three years? Every one year, giving you the option to stay in the relationship or opt out. I think I think that should be uh, implemented. I ain't gonna even lie to you, and, and like not even specifically, uniquely to my case, I'm saying because I don't think shit like that. I I like the longevity and loyalty of, of mm -hmm. things because the longer that you're still choosing to be right here, it's a choice. Right. Like any time. And you, what's the point of getting married if you're gonna opt out? Yeah. But it may work and it may not. In this climate. But at least you don't ever, have to be stuck. Like that's the thing, and like not only that, but I I just think that they, they should be able to be like sort of like a uh, record deals are. You know what I'm saying? I might want to sign you know a, a three album deal with an option. Mm -hmm. I don't know how I'm gonna feel after three right. albums. I really want to know how you feel. Oh, yeah, you're like, right. Because if I learn all the things you like. Even if I'm doing my bad shit, I'm just, here you go. I know you're a great friend. Yeah, yeah, that's great. And why you over here, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm over, nah, bro, that's just cold-blooded. Like, Speaking of that, tasty good things. Facts. I have my chaotic caramel cake. This one is peach cobbler. And you are eating caramel cake. And I want you to taste it and tell me what you think. I'm going to be honest now, too. No, you, you, know you need to be in it. Ain't no shame be, in my game. Like, I know I got crazy. We, we friends in the motherfucker. Like, I got to tell you what's happening. I know. I know what's going camera, on. Camera, my shit. I ain't believe a lot. Yeah, I made that karma from scratch. Mm-hmm. Speak. <laughs> we got to talk about this after this. Uh, is that good or is that bad? That's phenomenal. It's phenomenal? Good. Listen, I'm 
at KK Treats. Where can the people find you at? Right now, y'all gonna get with cam caramel cake. Oh, and KK Treats, they can find you over there. Yeah, That's some kinky them. cakes. Hey, man. Right. So. I'm, a, a, I'm electrical. I don't do no gas now. Okay. This my boy's good. Thank you. I appreciate it. So there you have it. We are behind the lens of King Dove. We appreciate y'all for coming out.